Alright, this is Sedek from Sedek's Corner, Synergy Gaming Franchise, SimGaming.org. Today we're doing an interview with all the right located in Corona, Queens. So, come join me inside. Aesthetics Corner, we're interviewing Lou from All the Right, located in Corona, Queens. Meet you. Oh, yeah, you too. Um, I've been coming here since I was about 15 years old. So, from when it comes to the whole store and how it's set up, do you have any input on what made them decide to actually start up a store like this? Because there's not many graffiti stores in New York. Um, this all falls back like the culture, like we were very into the old hip hop culture. And we started off as like a record shop first. So, you know, graph and hip hop all goes together. Yeah. Everything started back basically early 70s, I think. So, since then we just stuck to the roots. And, you know, fashion is part of the roots also. So, we try to stay among those three levels of, you know, hip hop with graph and fashion. Alright, um, other than that, when it comes to people coming into the store, I've heard several times that a lot of graffiti artists and a lot of MCs come into the store. What kind of MCs and graffiti artists come in here that are really hard to forget? I mean, you have, wow, I have had artists like Cope come in, Sentu, Clark. Um, you name them, like Jackie, like all the ill, like New York artists, even like artists from, I've met artists from Europe, from, you have this artist I think from um, Switzerland, he comes very often. Um, our actual web manager, the guy that set up our website, he um, he's a writer also, he's from Europe. So it's real dope the experience, like they're very, discreet of who they are, but some of them are so known that you know who they are off the bat. Yeah, they basically, it's hard for them to hide yeah. themselves from so, everybody around. Yeah, all of them is cool, though, we love, like, nice feeling. When it comes to, like, rappers and MCs, back in, like, when we first established the store, Big Pun, B-Nuts, who was just like old school legends. Then you have like MCs like Nicki Minaj. She did a freestyle. BT hosted a couple times in the store. MTV, um, Styles P, and Signing Jordan Ortiz. You name it, like Jim Jones. A couple artists, you know, that came through. Either was to do something for BT or just off the strength that they like the store. And they'll come and do an in-store CD signing or they'll do just to come shopping. That sounds pretty interesting for a lot of, lot of well-known people to come into the store. I mean, the store has tons of popularity. Yes. I mean, we deal a lot with a lot of like artists and like ball players. Like Villanueva comes through, and we have a lot of like high ninety-seven DJs that come and show support and love, like DJ Camelo, um, Enough, L Bugs. You know, so it's like, it's a nice store that people come and they feel at home when they come. In. Yeah. It's like their living room. They come. Yeah. They come, spend some time with us, a couple laughs, and they leave happy. You know? That's always a good feel. Um, for other than that, the clothing and graffiti supplies, what are the, the main products that sell the most? Well, when it comes to graphs, 
we one of the maybe one of the top three stores in the U.S. that carry all all the Montana brands, which is hardcore Montana Black, Montana Gold, 94s, and then we also carry Belton. So we, there's not many stores that they allow to carry all that. It's like people may not know, but like Nike. If you carry Nike SBs, you can't get Nike Tier Zero. They don't let you carry the best of the best. And with Graphy, we're the only store that carry all that. And when it comes to brands, we're very selective. You know, we like to start off with new brands, independent brands, give them, give them that like time to shine. And if we see them progressing, we stay with them. Like we don't really like to jump on the bag wagon of brands. Like Crooks and Castle's been around since like '02. We've been with them since like '04, '03. You know, Ten Deep, same thing. True Religion, um, PRPS, which a lot of people still are now starting to know what PRPS is. Um, Nudie. So like we try to bring in brands that are on the radar but not on the high piece radar like that and our customers like that when it comes to spray paint cans if you were shopping here for spray paint would you rather choose montana's or Belton? it's the writer's choice really. some people like glossy paint some people like low pressure cans like Belton. Belton is good because of the richness of the color, but they also like Montana Black because the colors come out so good. And you, you like depending on the cap you use on it, you could you could like control the pressure. So it's very hard to say. Like you have you have artists that like Belton, you have artists that like gold or black. So all around it's like a, it moves all fairly around the board. Everything else. If you weren't the manager here and you came across this came across this store walking down the street and walked in, what would be what would interest you the most out of this store? The setup. Setup? Like there's a feeling we have in the store. Like before I be, before I even worked, you know, I used to be a customer of the store. You know, so I used to come on the regular just off the strength. You want to hear something new, music. You want to see a, you want to bump into an artist, either a writer or somebody. You know, you just gotta to come to the store and you bound to find it to somebody. But you know, once you open, you go through those doors, you feel like you're at home. It's a cozy feeling, you know, and you start looking and bugged out because you have all these like old school pictures that make you reminisce in like two seconds. You'll find a Street Fighter machine. Oh, I used to play this cutting class. Well, you come in and you look at one half of the store is all different graph artists from all over the world and the whole ceiling is graphed up so you know like so many things that attract you that you feel like a little kid in a candy store when you walk in here um, as I was walking around I saw a picture of uh, Mob Deep yeah. signed how long ago did they come to the store or are they frequent um, people to visit well like artists like that is hard because they so in and out of state Maybe mm -hmm. traveling all over making shows, but um, that was like in 2000, 98, 99 maybe. Um, it was the record shop, Nori, all the Queens local artists. Before they got to where they at, or even after they got where they at, they always came by and show love. Cause we was so big in the music industry when it came to selling CDs and tapes back then. Like, we had a good amount of sound scan, and a lot of artists knew what the store was. Yeah. We had every DJ from Clue to Who Kid to J Love to Kick a Priest selling their mixtapes, and they would come personally to drop it off. So, just off the strength of that, like, the store was known in the music industry. How long has All the Right actually been around? Since 98. And was it always? I know you moved your location to here from from Junction. From Third Junction, Center, yes. But before that, was it still located on Junction, or was there? It's a always location? it was always on Junction, and we relocated just because you know sometimes change is good. Yeah. You know, like we was established there, but sometimes you want to expand to a bigger location, a uh, brighter part of town. You know, so you know, came up. It was there for already ten years. You know, rent lease, so that gets so high, and then the neighborhood already started falling off. 
Yeah. Like then you can at least find two or three sneaker stores. Now you see more like house stores. So we relocated and it's been for the better. Well, it was a definitely a great change because moving to this store, it gives you a lot more room than it was in yeah, the As you see, we try area. to keep the same feel as the yeah. old one, but now we have more space to play and add more of the ideas that we had. Yeah. And my boss, you know, he's very creative. Every day has a different idea, so like, you know, he has a store that's like a Lego block. You, know, you might see it like this today, tomorrow you might have the same feel, but it's, you're gonna find something different. Yeah. Um, when it comes to having, obviously, a graffiti store, most of the public feels that if it's condoning vandalism, has there been any complaints at all? Or Well, actually, the neighborhood likes it because um, we don't condone, we condone graph or as art. We don't condone it as, as something, you know, go vandalize your neighbor's house. You know, if you notice, we try, like, keep all our stores around here, the kids not to tell, you know, we have we have black books that we offer the kids to come, you know, you want to write, you got a black book, hit it up, and you know, stuff like that keeps them entertained and respect. Yeah. Among us, there's a, a level of respect, that everything is good, you know, so they come in and they they think it's like, honestly, like for airbrushing, so they'll think it's for paint to paint clothes or sneakers, and when you explain to them what it is, then they still stay amazed. And yeah. Like, oh, no, you know, I have a lot of parents that come with their younger kids to buy the paint because you know, we don't sell paint unless you have your 18 and over ID. Where do you see all the right being in 10 years from now? All the right in 10 years from now, hopefully a franchise. Hopefully, hopefully a couple of stores, you know, and um, wherever it takes us. You know? We also like designers, so you know, like probably put a clothing brand or something, who knows? But definitely still see us around in 10 years. All right. that's, all the ha that's all the time we have for now. But thank you for the interview. Thank you. It was a pleasure being in the store. Likewise. This is Lou with All The Right. Please go check out singgaming.org. Go support the community, baby.